Well, hello. Today we're going to travel to India. Well, actually just to North Dakota, but we're going to talk about an Indian fountain pen. So let's talk about my first impressions of the Wality Airmail 69P. All right, so this is the Wality pen. Um, I am not 100% sure of the model, but I'm going to go with a Wality Airmail 69P, mainly because that's what it most looks like from their website. So we'll just go with that. So looking closer, it's a cigar-shaped pen. The only branding is the Wality, which is trademarked. Uh, unscrew it. You see an ink window. And I don't know why, but for some reason I thought it was a eyedropper. And I spent a lot of time doing like this. And like, it's not unscrewing! What's wrong? And then uh, I grabbed it at a different end, started twisting, and that came down. So, yeah, it's a piston filler. So, clearly I'm a dumbass. <laughs> uh, up here, yeah, we have a Wality nib. Ebonite feed. Very old-fashioned, I want to say comb style, but I might be wrong about that name. But, you know, old-fashioned kind of style. Um, just a nice, simple pen made in India. And uh, it was actually sent to me, so that's why I don't know much about it. But we're going to find out what I can learn. So I think an Indian pen deserves a nice... Well, I was going to say American ink, but I don't think it's made in America. Made in France. So we're going to put a French ink in this Indian pen. So Parker Quink washable blue because... Oh, and I should just note one of the reasons I thought it was an eyedropper. I like literally cannot see the seam where the piston uh, turning knob connects with the barrel. <laughs> it's there, obviously, but, you know. So I, I don't feel totally stupid for thinking it was an eyedropper, just a little stupid. <laughs> but uh, anyway, ooh, we got a nice fill on just the first try, but we're going to do another snort just in case. So this was sent to me by a viewer and a pen pal from Texas. I uh, don't know if he wants his name mentioned, so I won't, but anyway, thank you for that. Uh, I actually, he sent me a number of pens, and I was doing a good job going through them, and then I kind of, that fell by the wayside for a while, but getting back into them. One thing worth mentioning before I uh, go any further. One turn. Two turn. Okay. Just a bit better than two turns to uncap it. So not amazing, but not bad. So this is the Wality Airmail 69P. The ink is Parker Quink. Let's see if I can fit it in this space that I zoomed in on. Parker Quink Washable Blue. I'm finding that the writing is actually very smooth. That, that's, a, that's a nice feeling pen. Uh, I'm holding it on the threads a bit, but it's not annoying. It's just, you know, a thing. So Parker Quink Washable Blue. It doesn't feel like a very flexy pen, but there is definitely some line variation there. That was because the paper sprang up underneath me. Um, so a little, not really flex, but line variation. Wetness and flow. Okay, I am feeling the threads more on this finger. Yes, I'm holding up that finger. Uh, but if I make myself hold it more lightly, that goes away. Smear test, which you can't see. There we go. Eh, 
wettish. Reverse writing. Um, kind of scratchy, definitely an extra fine or ultra extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. You don't press down during this test, which is why it's making an extra fine line, but I'd say it passed with flying colors. <clears throat> all in all, I'm impressed. And I honestly had a plan for the eyedropper thing and it I didn't have to do it because it's not an eyedropper. So, hey, hey. So that was the Wality Airmail 69P. This is a, you know, it's a, it's a plastic pen. It's pretty plain and unassuming. It looks like a lot of other pens and yet uh, definitely has its own flair. Um, there's something about it that I like. <laughs> um, the, the writing is good. I, I was very happy writing with it. It has a little bit of line variation, even though it's a plain steel nib. Steel doesn't mean no line variation. Uh, it's it just a very good pen. Uh, I, I was interested in the feed, which is more like a vintage fountain pen. Um, it's just a very good writer. Uh, I, I would be curious to try to find a vintage nib to put in it, if I can find one that fits it. Uh, fits comfortably in the hand. I've, I've done some writing with it. I was away, I was away from home and... Uh, didn't want to take my Pilot Custom 823 with me and risk losing it. So I took this instead. And uh, it served, other than being Parker Quink Washable Blue, <laughs> it did serve very well as a writer pen while I was away from home. As far as the pocket test, boom. 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 Yeah, passes that test with flying colors. Uh, I'm just... Can you even... Okay, you can see that. <laughs> I just looked out my preview and said... Whoop, we don't have as much chest as we usually do, so I must have... Uh, I'm either sitting closer to the camera or something. <laughs> but anyway, I on the whole, I'm very pleased with it. Um, if you can't tell, I'm sweating a little bit. Spring is actually here, and uh, I'm actually a little bit warm in my house. So, uh, should have opened a window, I guess. But anyway, just uh, very happy with it. And, uh, you know, we'll see if it becomes a part of my regular collection or if it becomes one that I eventually give away. But either way, I think it's a good introduction. And uh, yeah, a very nice pen. And it just makes me curious to try some more Indian fountain pens. I have not spent a lot of time in that market. And I know I should. There are some good, there are a lot of good pens in the Indian market. So who knows, you might be seeing more of them. Uh, can't get away from my vintage love, but every so often I gotta try something new. So, <laughs> so uh, anyway, I hope that was interesting and useful. Uh, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.